Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stelli, and this is part of a crash course on Framer, a tool for designing and prototyping projects. On this video, we're going to learn how to use the flow component. The flow component helps you quickly transition between multiple screens. With it, you can turn static screens into fully interactive flows. Amazing stuff. Let's get started. Components are super useful when creating prototypes. Think of a component as a bundle of layers with predefined interactions. The flow component helps you quickly transition between multiple screens. It's especially useful for turning static screens into fully interactive flows. What's unique about the flow component is that it knows which screen you're viewing. It keeps track of your history, allowing you to navigate back and forth at any time. Let's just start by creating a simple flow component that goes from one screen to another screen. Over here, I added a target to both of these artboards. Over here, you're going to see that both of these artboards have a target. That way, I can start coding. So I go back here to the code, and then I need to create a new flow component. To do that, first, you have to give it a name. So I'm going to call it flow, but you can call it whatever you want. And then it's going to say equals new flow component. There you go. We just created a new flow component. And as you can see here, the screen just went blank. That's because we haven't said what screen to show first. So I'm going to say that the flow, the first screen that it shows, show next, is going to be screen one. There you go. Now we have the first screen showing up. Now I want to add an event that flips between this screen and the next screen using the flow component. So I'm going to say that screen one on click, it uses the flow. And on the flow, I'm going to say that it shows the next screen. And the next screen is going to be screen two. There you go. So now it should open the next screen. But now it doesn't go back. So I need to add another event that takes me back to the previous screen. The cool thing about the flow component is that it knows which screen you're viewing. And that way it knows your history and how to go back to the previous one. So I'm going to say screen two, and I'm going to say that when I click on the screen two, it calls the flow component. And I'm going to say that it goes to the show previous screen. And on this one, I don't need to say what screen is that because the flow component already remembers what is the previous screen. So let's see it. I tap on it and then I click on it and then it goes back. And then here I go to this one and then it goes back. Pretty simple. Now let's create a more complex flow component. Here I have three screens and I want to be able to navigate through them. Here I have one button that is going to be taking me to this screen and then I want this button to take me to the final screen. And then I also want to be able to go back to the previous screen with the back buttons. The first thing that I need to do is add targets to all of those buttons that I'm going to use. So the first thing, I'm going to select this button that is called tasks, and I'm going to add a target. This one, I'm going to add a target to that is called clean. And then here, I only need to add a target to the back button. And this one is called back two, because this one is called back. And finally, I need to add targets to all the artboards too. So I'm going to select this artboard, and then I'm going to add a target, screen B target, and screen C a target too. Now I'm ready to start coding. So I go to the code panel, and the first thing that I need to do is create a new flow component. I'm going to call it flow. I'm going to say equals new flow component. And now, again, the screen went blank. I need to decide which one is going to be my first screen to show. So I'm going to say flow, show next, and I'm going to say the screen A is my first screen that shows. And there you go, now it's showing. But right now, there are no actions or nothing that takes me to the next screen. So I want to add an event to this button. So I'm going to say tasks, which is this button. I'm going to say that on click, It should use the flow component that we just created. And I'm going to say that it shows next. And the next screen that it's going to show is going to be screen B. Now let's test it. There you go. 
Now, once I'm here, there's nothing to take me back or anything because I haven't added any actions to these buttons. So let's add them. I'm going to say that clean, which is the other button, on click, it should do the flow component. And I'm going to say that it shows next. And the next screen that it's going to show is going to be screen C. There you go. Now let's test it. This one takes me here, and this one takes me to the final screen. Now I want to add back buttons to all of these, an event that takes me back. So I'm going to go and say back, on click. I'm going to say that it uses the flow component that we created, and I'm going to say that it shows previous. Right here, just put the parentheses, no values inside them. I'm going to do the same with the other back button. So back to on click flow put show previous and that's it. Let's test it. This one opens this one, this one opens this one, and let's see we've go back. There you go. The cool thing is that it remembers the last screen after this one. Here it brings me back to this one. Even if when I go all the way here, the back screen will not take me to the other one, to the, th the third screen. It will just take me to the first one because it remembers the history of the screens that I'm watching. Another really cool thing that you can do with flow components is that you can use them for overlays. So for example here, I have a model that is going to appear and then it closes down. And then it even adds a semi-transparent dark background for you. Let's build this model from scratch. I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to do it from the beginning. So here I have two artboards. One is my home artboard and then one that is going to be my model. All I want to do is that when I click here on the model, it should open this. So the first thing that I need to do is add targets to my artboards, which I already did here. And I also want to add a target to this model. So I'm going to say button, I'm going to add a target. There you go. So now this, I'm going to be able to open this as a model. I'm going to go to the code, and the first thing that I need to do is create a flow component. I'm going to call it flow. Flow equals new flow component. There you go. And now, again, the screen went dark. That's because we have to define which is the first screen that it will appear. So I'm going to say flow, show next, and I'm going to say that home is the first one. And there you go. And right now, it's nothing is happening because I haven't added an event to this button. So I'm going to say button on click. And here's where you define how to use it, the flow component as an overlay. So I'm going to say flow. And then here, I'm going to say show overlay and then you have all of these options. It could be top, left, right, bottom, center. I'm going to choose center. And then I'm going to say which screen I want to show. So I'm going to say model, which is my second artboard. So let's test it. There you go. Now it's appearing right here. Super cool. But now when it appears, nothing brings me back. So I want to do something that brings me back. And I'm going to say that just the whole screen model on click. I'm going to say that flow. And I'm going to go to show previous. And that way, it should take me back to the previous screen. So I open it, and I tap on it, and then it closes. I open it, tap on it, and then it closes. I can also change the overlay instead of the center. I could probably change it to top if I wanted to. Let's test it. There you go. Now it's coming from the top. Let's say, what if it's coming from the bottom? There you go. It's coming from the bottom. Pretty cool stuff.